Hello everyone, this is Patty Behan and thanks for watching today. In this video we're making this sparkly festive 4th of July card and we're going to be using some Simon Hurley stamps and stencils, his stamping foam and uh, illusions paints, letter it stamps and some stickles glitter gels. So let's get started. To begin I'm using the illusions blue Hawaiian paint and I have a Wendy Becky top folding card and I made this sleeve to protect my card when I paint it. So I'm sticking the back of the card into the top of the sleeve there and I'm going to shake up my paint and put it onto the craft sheet and then I have a brayer and what we're going to do is color the whole front of the card this blue color. So I make sure I get my brayer full of paint and then I'll transfer the paint onto the card like so and if you need to add more paint you can go ahead and do that and then it's important to note with the brayer that you need to roll the brayer the full length of the roll just don't go back and forth with it or else you will only get a little bit of the paint coming off the brayer so we're going to keep doing this until the card is totally covered and i think we're almost done there yes i think we're done and I'm going to pull this out and, and set it aside to dry. And so next we're going to use our stamping foam to make the stripes for our flag and I'm using the Simon Hurley stamp here. And to get the impression into the stamp with the foam you have to heat it with a heat gun and depending on which kind of gun you use it takes about 15 to 20 seconds to heat up the foam so it gets soft and that it will hold the impression. And then I'll grab the acrylic block here to press it down firmly to make sure I get a nice deep impression. And there you go. It came out really well. And the reason I did this is I wanted to make the stripes on the flag bigger. And the next thing I did, I cut this panel in half diagonally and we're going to use the bottom portion to paint on. So I'm going to shake up my post box red paint here and I'll put it onto the craft sheet and I'll spread it out on the brayer. And then we're going to lightly paint the top of the foam stamp here. And then you want to get a nice coverage of paint but not too much so that it goes in the grooves. And then we're going to stamp this on the diagonal. First we're going to do it like so. And we'll have to load up our brayer with some more paint. And then we're going to meet that last line again and stamp it down diagonally. And then I just have a little bit more to go, so I'm going to do that one more time. And even though I only have a little space to paint, I'm still putting paint on the whole foam stamp. And I'll meet up that line again. And then that's done. We're going to set that aside to dry. And I'm going to clean this up and come back. And we're on to the next. Now my blue panel is dry here and I'm working on the Wendy Vicky Make Art Station and that other piece of cardstock that I didn't use I'm going to use as a mask and I'm putting it slightly off center and then I'm using this stencil here and I'm going to find the place that I want to put it. And then once I do, I'm going to put the magnets on here to hold everything down. And 
And once I have everything in place, I'm going to take my Moon Dust Stickles Glitter Gels. And it's a real thick gel that has lots of sparkle. And I'm putting it on the back of a palette knife. And then just applying it to the stencil. And I want to get an even, thin coat. So I'll just do this until the whole stencil is filled in. Okay, once that's done, we're going to take off the stencil and we're going to let this dry. And let me bring it up close so you can see how sparkly it is. I'm wiping off a little bit of that excess at the top here. And remove the mask. And you can see how sparkly these are. And the gel is thick, so you don't really have to worry about it going under the stencil. So now my red stripes are dry and I'm taking some twinkle stickles and I'm going to put them in the white lines here just to give it some extra sparkle. And I'm just going to draw a line of stickles and then once I get to the end I'm going to take my um, finger and just spread them out a little bit. You only want a thin coat so it doesn't take too long to dry here. And I'll see if I can bring this up so you can see it. It's kind of hard. There, finally you can see the sparkle there. And now we'll let that dry and I have a piece of 11 by 1.5 inch cardstock and I'm using the party stamp and by the number stamp set by Letter It. And I'm taking the word happy and I'm using some night sky archival ink and I'm going to stamp this in the middle. We are going to trim this down quite a bit but I felt like it was easier to start with a longer piece. And then next I'm going to get the TH here. I think I'm going to use the other one and the four and we're going to ink that up and stamp that down. I'm stamping these all separate so I can know exactly where they're going to end up. Sometimes if you put them all along the same line, it's further apart than you think it's going to stamp. So it's better to stamp them individually. Okay, and once that's done, we're going to put this aside and go on to the next. So now everything is dry and we're ready to put it together. I already put some letter it double stick tape on the back of this striped cardstock here. And I'm going to peel off the liner tape. And then once that's done, I'm going to adhere it to the bottom of the card. And I'm using the double stick tape because it's nice and sticky with all this glitter. I can be sure it's going to stick. Okay, now we're ready to trim down our sentiment. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it and turn it over. And then I'm going to put a pencil mark where I want to trim it down. And I'll just trim it down with scissors. You can use a paper trimmer if you want to be more exact. Okay, and it looks like I have to trim it a little bit more in the back there. All right, and now we can glue this down. Take off the liner tape here. line it 
it up and press it down to glue. And then final step, we're gonna put a little bit of ribbon. And so I'm cutting the length of ribbon longer than I need to. And then I'm gonna glue it down with some Wendy Vecchi Make Art Perfect Adhesive. And at first I was gonna put the adhesive on the card, but then I decided it's better if I put it on the ribbon. So I'll put a thin line of glue there on the ribbon and then just Put it on the end there. I'll take my other piece and do the same thing. And then glue that down. And now we're going to trim off the excess ribbon. And you do that by going through the back so that you can see that you're cutting it flush against the card. And then that's it, you're all finished. You have a beautiful sparkly card. And this can even be made into a birthday card if you just change the colors around a little bit. So if you'd like to make this card, I have a supply list in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.